Hello again and welcome to me as cuisine. Today I will be preparing great tilapia. First, I clean my tilapia, remove the scale, the fins, clean the inner area, make sure there's no black dead or the geese, remove the geese out. And even if sometimes the store clean it for you, they just clean it yourself when you get home to make sure it's properly clean. After that, I'll put in some lime. I love fish, but sometimes I cannot stand the taste to eliminate the fishy smell. Sometimes I cannot stand the smell of fish. Sprinkle in some lime, like two, and let it sit for three to five minutes, then you rinse. And now we rinse with fresh water. I rinse, drain out the water, put half teaspoon of salt, mix together. Also have slices behind the fish to enable the spices to penetrate inside the fish. Next. I have here some slices of sweet pepper, fresh tomato, and slices of onion. So I'll pour it into my bowl. Put in some of my blended spices, which is in one of my videos, just to tell you what the blended spices comprises of. Put in some, maybe two cubes of maggi. Half teaspoon of salt to this mix to this. I then put half a cup of canola oil or vegetable oil or whichever is your preference, preference and mix. Now I'll rub the fish inside the mixed spice or my mixture which comprises of the sweet pepper, fresh tomatoes, onion, blended spices, some maggi, two cubes of maggi and half teaspoon of salt and put them inside. Let it sit for at least five minutes. Sometimes I don't even care. I just put it right away in the oven because it doesn't make a difference. Since I have the spices, it's already a taste right away. It goes inside the fish automatically. Some people would like to marinate it overnight, which is also good and leave it in the fridge and prepare it in the morning. So 
So this is how I prepare my the preparation of my grilled tilapia fish. While you're doing, doing this, make sure your baking pan or whatever it is that you want to use is already ready, ready to go. Then place the fish in my baking pan, one after the other. Some people would like to put pepper in here, which is great, but I can't, so I will have to show you how I do my pepper separately because of my little ones do not appreciate me putting pepper in their food. So I'll make my pepper in a separate pot. which I'll show you in a little while. sauce as well. I like my fish moist and not dry. So if you want a moist fish like mine, the first step is getting my blended spices recipe. Then put my fish in the oven. And boil. Instead of putting bake, I do not use bake, so I use boil. And let it cook for, let it cook up or grill or boil for 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes and you turn sides. I will be back. While my fish is still in the oven, I'll show you how I make my pepper or pepper sauce. I have here two hot pepper, put in the blender. I have some sweet pepper, sliced onion and sliced tomato. tomatoes and put all in the blender. Put a cube of maggi, pinch of salt, and blend. Blend with a little bit of water. So yes, I prepare my pepper. Put a little bit of oil in the pot. Some onion. Cut onions to to crisp. My pepper is usually sweet. I don't usually make hot hot pepper. When you eat it, you feel like you're eating a sauce instead of pepper. I'm pouring the pepper in the pot and stir it to taste. I cook it for 10 to 15 minutes and that's it. That's all about my pepper that I use in eating the fish. While our fish is still grilling, the next step is looking for what you would like to eat your fish with. Fish 
Roasted fish or goat fish usually go with miondo or fried plantain. So this is what we call miondo. It's a product from Cameroon. It's made out of cassava and it comes out in it's tied in leaves and little sticks like this. So it's tied in leaves, it made, it's made out of cassava and it comes in little sticks like this. So in order to prepare it, I just put it in the pot, put like two, two or three cups of water and boil for about 20 to 25 minutes. And I will show you how it looks inside. So that's me on the, it can be pushed purchased from any African store. It's been 15 minutes and I'll turn side of the fish. And put back for another 10 to 15 minutes. Our grilled tilapia is ready. Our miondo is ready, ready as well. You peel it off from the leaf. And this is what you get. This is how it comes out. And our pepper is also ready. So, our food is ready to be served. So this is how I serve it. With a little bit of pepper on the side or on top of the fish and that is my presentation for miondo and great tilapia as our us Cameroonians make great tilapia once again enjoy and good appetite don't forget to subscribe thank you